is going on everybody welcome back to the channel well we are at cypress lawn memorial park in colma california we're gonna go around and see what kind of interesting characters we can find and maybe find out a little bit more about some of these interesting characters and some of these elaborate graves this cemetery is really big i've been here before but i didn't see the whole thing so we're gonna try to see a little bit more this time and hopefully find some interesting people. This is the mausoleum of the Cole family. And one of the people, Charles Frederick Cole, grew up in a mansion on an estate in San Mateo, now known as Central Park. His father, William Cole, had made his fortune as a founder of the Alaska Commercial Company, and the son was accustomed to an opulent and fashionable lifestyle. So, we got some people here, some money. A very well-to-do family here in the area. It's kind of hard to tell. Here is the Van Bergen area. Last time I was here, this thing was flooded, which it still is flooded, but it was up all the way. As you can see on the door where that line is, that's how high the water was last time. Um, it's gone down a little bit, but it still looks like it's got water in there. Insane. But this is, I love this one. It's like very unique. Here is the Coleman family, and in particular, Alice Coleman. Here is the obituary I found. This was okay. Miss Alice Coleman, wife of Robert Lewis Coleman, well-known capitalist, is dead today, having succumbed at her Hillsborough home following a long illness. For years, she was prominent in society circles of San Francisco and the peninsula. Miss Coleman is survived by her husband and two children, Robert Jr. and Miss Cara Coleman. Before her marriage, Miss Coleman was... Alice Simpkins of Brooklyn, New York. And she had died October 13th, 1915. This was a pretty prominent woman and family. As you can see, this thing is just insane. Insanely detailed and awesome. There's a little bit of screen mesh on the door here. I don't know if you can really see inside. I don't know how well that's gonna translate there's a hole it looks like there's a basket in there or something it looks as though the family still brings stuff but that's a new basket that's that's a pretty new basket there was some looks like leaves or something in it what i could tell when i was looking at it from standing up this thing is truly truly beautiful Here is the final resting place of Edward Ear. He served as Lieutenant Colonel and Executive Officer on the field and staff, 1st California Cavalry, August 24th, 1861 to 30th of November, 1862. So we got a little bit of a historical figure here. Here's the inside, it's the family. Straight ahead is Edward, and left and right are just various members of his family. There's a better shot of Edward. Well, here's one for you. Timothy Guy Phelps, U.S. Congressman and native of New York. Phelps first moved to California in 1849 following the gold rush. 
1855, he was elected to serve the California State Assembly until 1857, when he was elected to the State Senate in 1861, after turning down a nomination to campaign for Governor of California. He was elected to the United States House of Representatives, serving until 1863. He would later make an unsuccessful campaign for Governor of California in 1875 against William Irvin. With the coming of the Civil War, he became close friends with President Abraham Lincoln and would serve as an advisor to the president on the West Coast. In 1865, he helped to found the Southern Pacific Railroad and would serve as its first president until 1868. He also served as collector of customs in San Francisco from 1870 to 1872 and again from 1890 until 1893. Wow, he had ties to President Lincoln too. That is pretty awesome. Let's check this out a little bit closer. I got some history here. Museum up there, his name is up there too. But this is the view from his uh, burial area. There's his name inscribed in the underneath the lip of this. This monument's super unique, I'm digging it. Here is the final resting place of Jefferson Gilbert James, born in Pike County, Missouri, December 29th, 1829, son of John R. James, a native of Virginia. In 1882, he was elected member of the Board of Supervisors of San Francisco, and in 1886 was elected school director for the city and county of San Francisco. He was the president of the Fresno Loans Bank Savings of Fresno. There we go. We got somebody here. You can tell by these monuments that these, these are, these, some of these people were somebody and <laughs> they had the money to uh, and there's a picture of them on the outside of this thing. Hats off to find a grave for having a bio on a lot of these people. This, the the find a grave entries are pretty uh, are pretty uh, good in detail. I'm really digging it. There's a lot of historic people, not so historic, and some pretty historic people that are in this cemetery. So I'm glad there's on the Find a Grave app, but I'm looking these people up, I'm finding bios on them. So I feel very grateful that I could do that. There's other ways to find out. There's a couple of them I had to actually Google, but most of these I'm finding today are on Find a Grave. Jeez, look at this one. This is another mansion, Hobart is the name. I'm gonna look this up and hopefully I can find something because it's just a last name. I can't see through the windows. I already went up there and looked. But um, let's hope we can find something on somebody here. So the Hobart family had uh, a lumber company up in the uh, Lake Tahoe area. Sierra Nevada Wood and Lumber Company that sand harbor trees logged around the lake were towed into the harbor behind the steamship niagara and then sent by rail to the company sawmill in incline from there milled lumber and cord wood was taken to the comstock mining district by the ingenious great incline tramway of 1880 and an intricate system of v flumes so there you go lumber was the name of the game for this family It's about 2.30 or so, so it uh, looks like they're gonna start closing this place down at five, so hopefully I can get a few more in today. Oh, sprinklers. Well, this is an interesting one, Rudolph Spreckles. Former president of the First National Bank, Rudolph Spreckles is best known for his role in helping bringing criminal charges against San Francisco Mayor Eugene Schmitz and political boss Abraham Ruff for corruption. Son of sugar titan Klaus Spreckles. I'm sure you guys have heard of Spreckles like sugar. It was the son of Klaus who started that company. Yeah, they got the door, the frosted glass and everything. 
no way you can get in there and see anything in there barely through the glass but it's hard look at this interesting interesting little uh, monument here Herman Shane Wall, and I would assume his wife Matilde, Madeline Shane Wall. This is a beautiful one right here. Looks like 1940 and 1895, I think. There's two people in here only, I do believe. It's Emily and Nellie. That's it. Well, that's all I got for this video. This place is super interesting. They've got some, you know, people who were not necessarily celebrities in here, the people I found right now today, but they were well to do people in the area. And no wonder they had such elaborate, awesome graves and whatnot. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and click that bell icon. Therefore, you can be notified of all of my future uploads, fellow explorers. Once again, thank you so much. The place is going to close pretty soon, so I don't know how much more daylight I got left in here. But I'll try to get some more in for another video. Peace.